Go, 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 gotta go fast. Yep, that's how you do that. I didn't actually think I could make that jump, but... Hello, Kukomi here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Metroid. Last time, I said I would look up what to do next, and I sort of looked it up. I didn't actually go to a guide, rather I asked a friend and a viewer, Sparky, for help. And he pointed me in the right direction. So thank you if you're watching this. And without further ado, let's head on. Beyond the store is a much needed upgrade. The grappling beam. Oh boy. So. With that, it's essentially like, if you ever played the Zelda series, it's like the hookshot essentially. So, I don't know 100% how it works, but I know we're going to need it for going forward. But I believe uh, those plus blocks, I'm willing to bet it's those plus blocks, because I've seen those everywhere and I have no idea what they do. So, yep. Uh, do I have to hold? Hmm, that's interesting. So, I guess this is sort of like to teach us how to use it. Oh, it's like a grappling hook! That is cool. I have to hold uh, X, unfortunately, but yeah. Or, yeah, I have to hold the fire button, which makes sense. So that is how we can do that. And with that, uh, I guess this is essentially our tutorial. Uh, and, ooh. Well, it's okay. I should... Right. Okay, so a uh, fun, funny thing. I was actually playing... So I haven't been able to play this game for a few days. Uh, just do the real life stuff. But in that time, I decided to download uh, Metroid Samus Returns for the 3DS. And I've been playing it on my own. I have to say, I love it. It's prob just from the controls alone, it's one of my favorite Metroid games today. Uh, of, all, of all three I've played. And being able, going from a game where I can grab ledges to a game where I can't grab ledges is really weird. Just really... It's just not right, you know? Uh, I guess I can just get that then. So if I use the grapple beam... Oh. Hold on. There we go. Let's get that. Oh, you can lower yourself! I didn't know that! Okay, if you hold- if you press down. If you press down, you can lower yourself. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do that, but... Like so. So that's actually really cool! Uh, so, yeah, I actually really like this power-up. Wow, I've never actually used this in any game. I know it's in Samus Returns, but I haven't gotten to the point where it is yet. I just finished, like, Area 1 as of the time of this recording. Uh, oof. Go, 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 go. Uh, I might have to angle it then. I was hoping I could just get under it, but... Alas. Uh, dang, if I went a little early, I would have gotten that. But yeah, so with that, there are a lot of places we can go now, which is great. Though that is something I'm not as big of a fan of with um, the Metroid series, or like with this game in particular, it just feels like there's a lot of stuff sort of hidden. Oh god, uh, but you should probably watch where you jump before you jump down. That is generally a good idea. It feels like there's a lot of stuff just sort of gated behind, like, Oh, this platform is too high, <laughs> what are you going to do about it? And it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, I can also see how that sort of opens up the game for sequence breaking. Because you could probably, like, I was trying to shine spark across that uh, gap earlier up in Brinstar, and I'm pretty sure I can do that. Or I think it was in Criteria, not Brinstar. But, like, a few episodes ago... Oh, whoops. Uh... And I'm pretty sure you can do that. I'm pretty sure you can make that, which means you can just skip the grappling hook, I'm willing to bet. Uh... So let's do that. Oh, okay, I need to get another one. So yeah, this is basically just sort of teaching you. It's a nice that it sort of gives us, like, a safe area to just test... Uh, how the grappling beam works. I get, was I calling it the grappling hook a second ago? I feel like I was. Uh, so I believe I'm going to need a super missile for that, since it's green. We were in here earlier, so it just circles around and allows us to come here. I guess that's supposed to be our way back up here instead of just constantly wall jumping, which is what I did. So with that, we can finally move onwards. Which, thank god, we are no longer stuck. 
I mean, don't worry, it'll only be a matter of time before we get stuck again. It's coming, we just... It... it it's coming. That, that's pretty much all I can say. And I should probably get out of this stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead. And get that. And I believe we're going to be heading back up to uh, Criteria now. If I may pull up the map, let's see. Yeah, we're going to head back up to Criteria, and I'll probably cut the video until we get there, because it's going to be... Actually, hold on. I'm not completely sure if I, uh... Sort of, if I went through this room before. I know I looked at it, but I don't know if I went all the way through it. Because I might need the grappling bead to do it more, but do it more. Take that out of context. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I need the grappling bead for this. And, oh, I get it. That is mean. You have to, like, do multiple grapplings. I mean, this is a good place to teach about it, at least. Oh, and you get rewarded with them, so you don't have to do this, but... Okay, that's neat. It's a neat way of incentivizing that. And it's nice to know where Samus got this beam from in. Because I didn't even know the grappling beam was a thing until I was told about it. I just never knew about it. So... Alright, so I should be able to get that. There we go. Yeah, okay, it's pretty simple. It actually reminds me a lot of Wind Waker. It makes me wonder if Wind Waker got any ideas from this game. Uh, I do have to say, I have been enjoying this game a lot. Even if I sound really frustrated the past few episodes from getting lost and having no idea where to go, I have been loving this game. It, I've been loving the Metroid franchise in general ever since I started with Fusion. Like, I, st I played Fusion like a month and a half before this, and I loved it, and that's what sort of... I was going to play Super Metroid, and I thought, you know, that'd make for a fun blind let's play, because I hear such good things about this game. And... While I definitely don't think blind let's plays are my forte, uh, it's not something I would do often, if again, which I'll probably end up doing it again, it's just not something I would do often. Uh, but, still, it's just, I really do enjoy this game, despite my somewhat negative attitude at certain points, uh, let's bring up the map, yeah. Despite my somewhat negative attitude at certain points, I truly have enjoyed this game. And I can understand why so many people call this, like, one of their favorite games of all time. Or one of the best games on the SNES. Uh, though, having played Fusion and playing Samus Returns alongside this, it's interesting to just sort of compare, like, what's in each game. What worked, what didn't work. Because uh, one thing I definitely have to say that has annoyed me the most in this game... Uh, and it may just be more because I played Fusion first and I'm also playing Sam's Returns, is the fact that I can grab ledges. And I can't do that in this game. And that you have no idea how much that bugs me, that I cannot grab ledges. That's just not right. Like, and I was worried, like, the controls, because I go with the default controls in pretty much any Metroid game I play. I already gave my thoughts on, like, going with default controls before. But, uh... Oh wait, actually, hold on. Yeah, I can do that room now because I have the grapple beam. Because I needed that to get across the gap that I, that was the main reason I couldn't get across. So let's go ahead and do that as well. I was about to give my final thoughts and just cut. Uh, all right, well. And though I find it's a lot harder to uh, pull off a wall jump in uh, Samus Returns, which I think is... Kind of odd, but I guess they don't want you to sequence break the game as much. The thing that this game really has going for it is non-linearity. And I really appreciate that. Like, it, it's really neat that it has non-linearity. Uh, can I open doors with this? Oh, I can. Nice. I probably should have gotten that extra power bomb, but oh well. Yeah, but like, uh, god, in Samus Returns for the default, the uh, Y is the shoot button, while X uh, is used for the melee counter, which, by the way, I think the melee counter is one of the best things they ever could have done for the Metroid game. So much fun, I love it. Uh, ooh, the bug thing got me. Uh, so yeah, that makes getting across here a lot easier. I'm willing to bet you could do this without the... Uh, oh, hello. Oof. Well, at least it doesn't knock me off. I appreciate not being knocked off. 
Uh, and I see, I just have to keep going. Oh, that's how I'm supposed to get past, uh, that room where I literally just tanked the damage. Yeah, that, like, long, that long room that I just pretty much tanked all the damage. Uh, ooh, okay. Alright, just get your bearings straight. Take the damage, it's okay. I have plenty of health. Alright, don't let go of the shoot button. That's bad. Alright, just start, don't, I'm trying to not hit down. Okay, you know, I'm just, just gonna run for it. I can make this. Okay, we're good. It's like I, f I keep hitting down uh, when I'm going between stuff. Ugh, okay, we're we're here. We're about. Oh, are you serious? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh no! If I die, I'm gonna have to go get this again. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna have to try. I'm gonna freeze this guy so I can only stand on it. Alright, we're going to get this. Hold X. And nope! Okay, I'm dead. Auto tank. I forgot about that. Uh. Well, I'm about to die. Uh, okay, why can't I suddenly do this now? Alright, there. That's how you do it. And. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. Okay, please be like an E-Tank or something. An E-Tank would be appreciated. I thought that was about to lock me out or something. Did I seriously actually need to do that? It actually did lock me out, didn't it? Uh, I really appreciate in Samus Returns how I don't have to... It's much easier to go into the Morph Ball in that game. That That is really appreciated because you can get used to it, but... It is kind of annoying that, like, say I can't just press Y to go into it. Uh, let's see. I should be able to just roll through here. Ooh, no, it's a power. X-ray scope. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. This is completely new to me. Oh, that is cool. Now I just need to get back without dying. So I can basically just... You know, I was about to say one of the things I dislike the most about the Metroid series was its over-reliance on like, here's a hidden door behind a- here's a hidden passageway behind a block that you didn't know about. Err, <laughs> how are you supposed to know about it? Err, <laughs> dumb luck. Wow, that actually takes away that complaint. I mean, if I got it sooner, there's still some points where I feel... Alright. All right. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I, I can't survive this. There's no way I can survive that. <sighs> I'll have to try this again. I'll fast forward. I'm gonna have to get the grapple beat. When was the last time I saved? Okay, I'm still in warfare. Really? Okay, game. Okay. Note to self, save. Saving is important. Saving saves lives, wouldn't you know? <sighs> I'm gonna have to fast forward until I get there. I'm sorry, I am so sorry, but I guess for you guys it won't take that long. For me, it'll be a bit longer. So I will see you guys in a moment. <sighs> okay, I'm back. That took like nine minutes. And yes, I saved. And I basically figured out the trick, which is why I have so much more health here. Uh, so I can just keep holding right and essentially keep pressing X. And I might not go the fastest or the farthest, but it works. And I take a lot less damage. So... I don't even care. I don't need this. Actually, I'm a little curious. If... Uh... Oh my god! Wait, does it freeze everything? It freezes everything! I didn't know that! That is actually interesting! And I can even see in the dark. Okay, I was about to say... So the X-Ray Beam probably doesn't have a lot of use for like anything else for like speedrunners. Because I never hear about it and... I, I didn't never watch Super Metroid Run's full uh, 
speed runs like all the way through partially because I just wasn't interested in them and now after I got interested in the Metroid series I didn't want to be spoiled on anything in Super Metroid uh, even though I have seen the final boss I've seen the escape sequence at the end uh, spoilers I guess sorry uh, so on and so forth so I do know about some stuff towards the end but you know it's just really neat to just play through this game there's just so I was worried that there wouldn't be that many things that would surprise me and I'm completely wrong I've been pleasantly surprised a lot there have certainly been some things I just didn't like about this game and I definitely I want to think about it more so I probably won't talk about it too much now but I definitely want to do my thoughts comparing the three Metro games I have played once this series ends and I know only one of them I actually did on uh, to get uh, actually as a video series. For one, uh, I could record Fusion. I have the ability to buy it off the Wii U eShop, but I actually played on the 3DS Ambassador program, and I don't have the ability to record 3DS. I sort of found a way to do it, but it's really bad and has no audio and it's really choppy. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much not worth it. Uh, also, I never noticed if you uh, pause the S you see that has the black background and uh, yellow is the last point you save. That is something I noticed not too long ago. A really neat thing. And with that, we should finally be able to push further into the uh, further into criteria to the abandoned ship area, which is bas basically the next area we need to go. Uh, Alright, come on. So, let's go ahead and I remember when I was trying to shine spark figure. I'm willing to bet that's possible though, because you have just enough room to charge it. So you could totally make that if you wanted to. Uh, uh, what? Why are these cracked? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm so glad the water has to disappear when it happens. I actually let go of X in the middle. Yeah, okay. I let go of X in the middle of that, so I was a little curious to see if it was going to... I held it afterwards uh, during the text box, but I let go of it, like, right... So right after I got the missile, I accidentally let go of X. And then during the text box music thing, I just actually uh, held X and see if it would keep my input. But no, it didn't. The game knows. Uh, let's see. Ugh. Okay. So yeah, I, I think I'm getting a little better at using the grappling hook. Grappling grapple beam, excuse me, this isn't Wind Waker. That was last uh, that was the last series. Uh let's see. Alright. So let's go ahead and continue on to the next area. I've never seen this area before. I don't really know what to expect. Uh, we're back outside, so that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Ooh, look, it's like a platform. Let's see what this is. Uh, is this supposed to be the, hold on. I'm not quite at the wrecked ship. I'm about at it. Uh, wow, they really want to make sure you have the grapple beam at this point. Of course. Of course. I know there are two specific power-ups I really need that I we haven't gotten yet. Or like two standard Metroid power-ups that I know are in this game that I haven't gotten yet. And I'm still waiting to get that. Uh, jeez. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was like it wasn't letting me swing back there, and I wonder if it's because like it was right at the edge. Uh, ooh. I have to say I'm not as big of a fan of having the platform on these things, though. Can I can I freeze you? No, I can't. Okay then. Geronimo! Oh, hello. Oh, well, okay, it works for me. No! Uh, okay, can we do I have to go all the way back? I have to go all the way back. Uh, can I at least start a shine spark or dashing underwater? I'm going faster. No, I can't. Uh, I was really hoping I could. Uh, can these be like ladders or something? I just don't want to go all the way back up. Or have to go all the way across again. Please, game. Take pity on me. No. I mean, I think we're about out of time for the episode. 20 minutes, so... I mean, my clock says 30 minutes, but like I said, it took me like 9 minutes. 9 to 10 minutes to get back to where I was. So... Alright, well let's just get through this area and then we'll call it an episode. 
I'm glad we got so something done. Uh, ugh. And then as soon as I say that, I completely miss. What else is new? What else is new? Nope. I did it a little too late there. Uh, let's see. Oh, pff, I thought I missed it, so I let go of X. And I did it. Alright, let's try that again. Alright. Woo, you can get some serious air time with that. Uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> geez. So, this is basically going to be the rest of the episode, is me trying to get back. Uh, but, is that a lake in the background? I mean, I knew, I could obviously tell that Ze or Zebes or Zebes, however you say it, uh, has water, but I didn't really think it had like a full-blown lake like this, but the surface is still very barren, so... Nah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's get it, go ahead and get out of here. Oh, pff, I, I hit Y, right. I, I forgot that cancelled the item thing. Oh wait, that's the x-ray scope. No, go my X-ray Jew. Oh, I did. I just noticed it's actually coming out of Samus's visor. That's actually really cool. Okay. Well. Uh. Wow. Okay. I suck at this. Do I even need the jump? Have I been messing this up the entire time? I'm so sorry to anyone who's like a fan of Super Metroid. I am terrible at this game. Uh. Though. Wow. Yeah. You can seriously get some airtime. Was there something up there? I couldn't tell. Of course, I was going to try and wall jump off that, but no, I have to fall. Samus has to fall off to the ledge. Why can't you grab on the ledges in this game, Samus? This is supposed to take place after Samus returns. You can grab ledges in that game. <sighs> oh, well. What can you do? Yeah, I, I didn't need the jump. That was completely pointless. Wow. Okay. Uh, ooh. Let's see if I can wall jump. Nope. Why can't I- can I not wall jump off this? Yes I can. Okay, I was just messing up. Wow, I did not need the jump at all. Wee. And we. You know, I'm probably just gonna meet you guys back there. So, fast forward powers, do your thing. Hello. Hello. I see you there. Oh, wait, seriously, can I not go in there? I should be able to get in there. There we go. No, 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 let me in. Let me in, thank you. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Let's see. Uh, ooh, it's a missile, all right. I <laughs> like how I got it right on the frame. Samus is glowing, so th that's pretty good. That's like some MS Paint level. That's like someone literally took MS Paint and like paint bucketed over Samus, or over each texture of Samus, because yeah. If you just did, uh, use the paint bucket on Samus, it'll only get part of it because of the way paint bucket works, but yeah. You get what I'm saying. Uh, so that was nice to have. Uh, I'll have to remember to get that though if I die, so I will guess I will just... I mean, I've already been trying not to die, but I will have to try even harder. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and get that. And... Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, I can't quite tell where that platform is. It almost seems like a blind leap. It's kind of annoying. There we go. I could just power bomb it. Why didn't I not think of that before? I need a running start, don't I? Okay. Oh, we're gonna try take three. Oh, I made it. Oh, thank God. If to give you an idea of how long that took me, that took, I paused the time, it took me about seven minutes to get back here. Yeah. I just kept falling off these platforms. Like, I would like start running and then I would like jump too late and I would miss it. And yeah, and I had to go all the way back and I almost ran off there and thank God I didn't. But yes. Next time on Super Metroid, we're going to be heading into the wrecked ship and see what we can find there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.